sketch the contour map of the function f of xy equals 1 over x squared plus y squared. So what's the idea of a contour map? Well, if you think of okay, your regular old map of geographical regions, this is going to be like a topographical map. So we're going to fix a letter C, which is going to correspond to elevation. So how do we proceed? We're going to take our function, set it equal to C. That's going to give us what's called a level curve. Those are going to be all the points of our function that take on the same value. So that's the whole point of setting the function equal to C. That's going to give us a curve or some feature. Now, let's take a look at our specific function. Let's try out some numbers. So here, we're asked to find the level curves at 0, 1, 1 quarter, and 4. So if I try 0, what happens? I have 1 over x squared plus y squared equal to 0, clear the denominator, and then I'm left with 0 equal to 1. So there's going to be no x and y that solve that equation. So c equals 0, there's no level curve. Now actually this makes sense because if you note, okay, the only way our function can break down is if I put 0 in the denominator. The only way that happens is if x and y are 0 at the same time. So 0, 0 is not in our domain. Now, let's get rid of the negative numbers. What happens if I try c negative? I have 1 over x squared plus y squared equal to c. Okay, we can clear the denominator. That gives me x squared plus y squared equals 1 over c, which is still a negative number. Okay, x squared, y squared. When I take a number and square it, I get 0 or a positive number. So x squared plus y squared is always 0 or a positive number. It can never be negative. So if c is negative, we'll have no level curves for those values either. So we're only going to have level curves when c is positive. And then our level curve for a given c is just going to be a circle with radius 1 over square root of c. So let's put a few numbers into this. First, 1. In this case, we're looking at x squared plus y squared equals 1. So that's going to be the unit circle. So I'll draw that on my contour map. So we have c equal to 1 right there. Next, let's try c equal to 4. In this case, the radius is going to be 1 half. So for c equals 4, we'll have this contour, this level curve right here. And then for c equal to 1 quarter, we're going to have radius equal to 2. So that'll be this big circle out here. So what do you notice? As r gets large, the radii of my circle are going to get smaller and smaller. As c gets small, the radii of the circle get larger and larger. So let's take a look at the three-dimensional picture to see why this is happening. Now, it'll first help to set y equal to zero just to see what's happening in the xz plane. If I do that, we're gonna have, okay, set your c equal to z and then set y equal to zero. That's gonna give me z equals one over x squared. So that function is gonna look like this, okay? So, you'll notice if I have c equal to a small number, okay, that's going to correspond to height being very small. That means you're going to have a big circle. If c corresponds to a large number, that's going to mean you're looking at a large z value. So here, your circles are going to be very tiny. So that makes sense in terms of my picture. Now, if I go 3D, we're going to have something that looks like this. So the contours along your XZ plane look like that, and then one going along the back. And then we just fill in all the circles. So you'll note here, that's going to be your C equal to 1 quarter, C equal to 1, and then C equal to 4.